January. Every day, more than 20 women and children depend on help from services in Minot, whether it's food or even a place to stay. While searching for some monetary relief, a couple of these essential organizations stumbled upon a federal grant. It's open to any area with a military installation nearby, like Minot Air Force Base. As PJ Walker reports, this help could go a long way for one of North Dakota's largest communities. So we are applying for $18 million through the Office of Economic Adjustment. The YWCA in Minot is the only shelter for women and children in the area that provide direct services. Over the years, the nonprofit has seen an influx in people they help, which is why the executive director says the grant is much needed. We'd love to build a new campus with a bigger facility, a more up-to-date facility, and energy efficient to allow us to just meet the needs of the community. Von Barron says they are constantly running out of space in the current building, which houses 14 women and their children. The grant from the Department of Defense would provide a new facility, over 15,000 square feet, including living space for families and room to house their current programs like the diaper pantry. And we're hoping to add a couple more programs to our um, YWCA name when we get more room for that. The Surce Valley Animal Shelter is also looking to score big on federal dollars. The executive director says although they aren't seeking as much as the YWCA, the need for the funds is just as great. Our building is terribly old, so the dogs as of right now do not have the enrichment fees that they need for indoor and outdoor kennels. Uh, during the winter, we really aren't able to take the animals outside for more than 10 seconds. The shelter is applying for $3 million to help expand its current building. A veterinary clinic is also in the plans to help them keep their vet expenses down. The director says they currently have a partnership with the military base and hope this money will help them expand. We have multiple programs in which military active duty and spouses and dependents participate. The shelter has already closed its doors to start the construction. Both organizations say the money would help them serve so many people in the area, which is why they are here. Reporting in Minot for KX News, I'm PJ Walker. The shelter has also stopped taking in new animals during the renovation. They're working closely with other area shelters to provide temporary housing. Well, COVID-19 could impact Halloween, but it isn't so